new. Um, I've never done a cooking video type thing, so bear with me, especially not a live stream. The view is going to be changing, um, and hopefully I'll be able to swing this arm smoothly. Um, but uh, for those who don't know, I am uh, also a life coach amongst many other hats that I wear. And um, one of the things I've been doing <clears throat> over the past few years is well, most of my life is dealing with my weight, um, but actually about a year and a half ago, over the course of a year and a half, I dropped and have kept off about 30 pounds, and I'm hoping to kind of break through this plateau and um, and do something a little different. I haven't done juicing in a long, long time, um, but what we're doing today is a... Um, a breakfast juice and I, I personally like to do fruits um, for breakfast um, and this afternoon I'll be doing um, a veggie juice so if you guys are interested hi Nessie um, and just to let you guys know if I don't comment it's because the camera is much higher than my head is um, so I have a little trouble uh, seeing um, but I'm gonna take you step by step from the cutting to <clears throat> the actual juicing the preparation now, I am not a doctor. I'm going to preface this, not a medical practitioner. Um, I do, part of my health coaching, though, is coaching through health stuff, um, i.e. nutrition. Now, again, I'm not a nutritionist, but I am self-studied. I have, I have learned so much because I have a lot of digestive issues. And this was actually at a suggestion of my allergist. I'm mm -hmm. seeing a new allergist because I've had chronic sinus problems and one of the things he recommended was doing a juice detox. Now, I'm sure he meant for me to do it for something like seven to 10 days. I, however, am only going to do a couple days, um, today, tomorrow, maybe even Tuesday. Hi, sassy family, I'm glad you can make it on. Um, so part of detoxing, and really the point is not necessarily to lose weight, but to get rid of um, all of the the junk that's kind of in your system. Now, some people will say that our bodies do a great job of that. Sure, if your body is working efficiently, absolutely. My body not only has been having issues um, like absorbing vitamins, like I have very low vitamin D, I have very, very low iron. So in my next juice, you're going to see um, a lot of spinach, uh, which is very rich in um, rich in iron, um, and my body has um, I have IBS, so that makes it very difficult to absorb. Now some of this is from medications um, because I also have acid reflux. Surprise, surprise, um, and that medicine can actually create um, something. At least my allergist surmises that I might have leaky gut syndrome. Um, and it's very easy to heal that one way is um, through um, there's a supplement I forget which one um, but it helps carry nitrogen to um, to organs that need healing so I'm on that uh, probiotics help digestive enzymes which um, I do take but also when you juice it's full of those digestive enzymes um, and so I'm going to take you just through a little bit of this journey. Now, if you like this video and you'd like me to live stream the one that I do for lunch, I'm absolutely on board for that. So the, the fruits that I'm going to do today, I'm not going to do all of these strawberries, but I am going to clean all of them. I have a mango, and again, I might not clean, I might not use all of that. Any extra juice I'm going to put into um, this container um, metal containers, dark containers are best. Now I cleaned this with a little bit of vinegar water and, um, and because you want the light out of it and preferably if you can um, fill it up to the top even better because the less oxygen that gets to your fruit, uh, to your fruit juice, the more vitamins and nutrients it retains. Um, that's why a lot of times they'll tell you don't drink the juices that come in clear containers because it it's the the nutrients are they're they're gone and a lot of them are pasteurized so when you pasteurize something a lot of those nutrients kind of are out of it anyway um, so strawberries very high in vitamin C um, I, I really don't remember all 
of the benefits. I know that mango is very high in potassium. The other thing you may notice when you juice um, is that if you lose a lot of water, because most of the weight you're going to lose, um, and again, this is not about losing weight, it's about cleansing, but most of the weight you're going to lose is through water, because the more water you drink, uh, the better it is. Uh, so, however, when you lose a lot of water and very quickly, um, it can sometimes throw your electrolytes off. Um, so sometimes I will take um, a potassium supplement to help that, or um, I will rub magnesium because I'll get leg cramps like crazy. Um, but hopefully that will not happen because I'm having a lot of potassium with the mango. So first thing we need to do, it, and feel free to ask questions as I post. Ooh, I think I saw a question pop up. Um, oh, I'm glad. Oh, you have, oh, deadly form of latex allergies. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. That is, that is hard. Um, I know a lot of people with allergies and it stinks. So one thing when you juice is you want to make sure it's organic. And this juice, oh, for those of you who don't know, I also have a blog. I haven't been on there in a while, but it's called Fat Girl Cooking Thin. Um, so check out my blog if you want. I'll try to remember to put a link in this below. This is probably going to be quite a long live stream. Hopefully not too long because I'm starving. Um, the other thing when you juice, you want to make sure and have plenty of water in between. Don't add water to the juice. Plenty of water in between. Um, you also, now this juice, I'm not doing a pure juice detox because um, I don't want to spike my blood sugar. While I'm not diabetic, I am borderline. So what I'm going to do is later um, in the morning, I'm going to have an egg. Um, but the idea is to not have any refined sugar, no refined flour, um, you know, keep it clean. And so this is really just a nice reset. And that's why I'm only doing it for two days. Um, and if you really feel, you know, and you have to listen to your body. Um, there's all sorts of juice detoxes out there, but listen to your body. Don't do it as a quick way to lose weight, because guess what? Once you have something starchy, it's going to come right back on. Um, but, oh, I can make shadow puppets. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Sorry, I can get a little punchy this early in the morning. So the way I'm going to clean it is um, a nice big bowl of water, and I have just regular plain old distilled vinegar. Um, and the distilled vinegar, the acids help eat through whatever might be on there. Um, and I don't measure it. I just eyeball it and you want to let it soak for a little bit. Um, and so I am just going to let it go until it floats. And, um, and you don't have to, um, peel the apples. You don't have to peel the pears. Um, I do remove the strawberry tops. Um, I've never juiced a mango. That could be very interesting. And all of this could go to crap, by the way, because I haven't used my machine in years. Because um, I been I got into smoothies for a long time. So it is possible to, you know, that this won't work. Um, so, But we're going to try. And you'll be here with me to witness the colossal failure or success of this said juice. Um... But, I mean, juices just help in so many ways. Uh, but you do want to consult your doctor before juicing. Um, for example, kale um, or any green leafy vegetables are not good if you are on certain medications. Same thing for citrus fruit. Now, I stay away from citrus fruit because of my, um, my acid reflux. But I, I was daring and I did buy a lemon for one of my, um, my lunch juice. Um, and I bought some tomatoes, so we're going to see how that goes. Um, strawberries in small amounts don't seem to bother me, and I think the apples will help neutralize it a little bit. All right, so ooh, I saw more comments. Um, oh, hello, hello. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Um, so I know this is the exciting part. You get to watch me cut, and I'm sorry it's a live stream, so it's not going to be zoomed through. Um, so I have a bunch of cutting boards. I'm going to try swinging the arm of this, um, and we'll see if it works. Nope, not swinging. So we're going to have to lift. I know. I'm sorry, everyone. 
you're going to get turned upside down. We'll get you there. Maybe. Haha. -ha. Here we go. Not sure what you can see yet. And my phone almost fell off. Adventures in live stream, not just in juicing. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, friends. The phone has completely become unmounted. Aha! Now, let's see. Oh, you can see my shirt. That's not really what I want you to see. Oh, it's telling me to rotate. All right, we're going to try this again. Ba -ba -ba. I know, this is so exciting, isn't it? As you can tell, I'm an amateur, not a professional cooking person. All right, it's saying rotate the device still. Oh, goodness. I did rotate the device. And now you're telling me it's not enough. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Tompkins. Problem is, I can't get you to see the board because this arm is not doing what I want. All right. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Okay, kind of. This is a terrible view. Oh, oh. Oh, and you get to see my hand, too. That's exciting. All right. Hey, I think... I think we're good. So it's a little shadowy, sorry, it's, you know, sorry about that little detour. Um, and I promise I won't bring you over the sink again. So I do like to pre-chop. I rinse it off because, you know, you don't want the vinegar on there. And we will get a separate bowl to store all the veggies. And this way, I will have some ready for my next juice. Although, again, that's probably going to be mostly vegetable. So, with juicers, it doesn't need to be big. Some people will um, even juice the cores. I do not, though, because um, apple seeds, I don't know if you know this, have arsenic in it. And yes, it would take an awful lot of apple seeds to cause a problem. However, do you really want to do that? <clears throat> Little side tip, I saved my strawberry container for all of the, um, all the junk. Now, if I had a backyard, I would probably compost, compost these, <clears throat> but I don't. So unfortunately, we are going to have to throw that out. You can recycle the strawberry containers or use them but I'm using them as kind of a trash receptacle um, to give them a second life. I, I'm not great with recycling, although I try when I can. And you see, like, I'm not doing huge chunks. I mean, I'm not doing small, you know, small pieces. It's a waste of time. And if you really get snacky, mmm, I am good. How are you? Oom. I feel a little intimidated having a cooking person watching my cooking. Um, although technically I'm not really cooking, but I'm definitely not a chef. Okay, let's do the pear. Now, if my doggie's really good, sometimes I'll give him pieces of the fruit. You do not want to give your animal um, grapes, though. Grapes are poisonous to dogs. Um, always like I always refer to online lists there's plenty of online lists to tell you what's good 
for doggies or cats. Um, although f I, I've never had a cat, so I don't know if they're even interested in people food the way dogs are. And I hear my dog pitter-patting. Apollo! Here, let's give him a nice little slice of pear. He's never had pear before, so we'll see if he likes it. Apollo, do you want, ooh, want some pear? Oh, he gobbled, Apollo, right here. No, he did not gobble that right up. He gobbled the bigger piece and ignored the smaller piece. Well, that's a doggy for you. But giving them fruit is good for them, too. They love berries. Oh, oh, you like that? You want more? Oh, apparently Apollo likes pears. I'm just going to cut off a slice for him because he loves strawberries. Nice little doggy stripe. Oh, good boy. Oh, I saw. Okay. It is Sunday. Oh, what am I doing in the video? Okay. So right now I'm getting ready to prep my fruits for the juice. Um, I have washed everything. I'm cutting up the fruits so I have nice clean prepped fruits and um, vegetables. I'm not really doing vegetables today. In the morning I like doing um, a fruit juice. So hopefully that answers the question. And anybody who is watching, thank you. Thank you for joining me. And thank you for any <coughs> thumbs up that might come my way. Hopefully you are enjoying this um, very tedious video <laughs> of me cutting veggies. Oh, hello. I can't understand what you said, but thank you. Oh, looks like we're down to one friend. Sorry, I'm trying to read and cut at the same time, and I'm apparently not very good at multitasking. And I realized I just did not rinse off any of my strawberries. So we're going to just give those a quick rinse before they make it back into the bowl. Hello, my one friend who is sticking it out with me. There could be more, but I never get an accurate count on here um, of who is watching and who isn't. Oh, I'm going to have plenty of strawberries. And again, I'm not using all of these strawberries for this morning's juice um, because that is a lot of strawberries. Um, but it is nice to have fruit pre-cut and pre-ready so when I'm ready for the next one, all I have to do is pull out the fruit and mm -hmm. pop it in the juicer. And if you have any, you know, um, fruit that is spoiled, you don't want to juice that. If it's ripe, like really ripe, that's fine. But you don't want to use spoiled fruit because, again, the idea is that you're trying to clean up your body, not add things like mold and bacteria to it. I mean, there's always natural bacteria that will come in fruit, but you don't need to add it. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Hello, uh, Raxco. I think I said that right. I think I put the K in the wrong place, but I'm glad you're here. So who is it that's still with me? Because I see one lone friend sticking it out, watching me cut all of the fruit. Who's my one friend? Or maybe you have me in the background, and that's why I don't know I'm talking about you. <laughs> Hello, hello. Oh, I do thank you for joining me on this Sunday morning. Oh, got a couple more, and then we tackle the mango. This juice is going to be delicious. The other thing you can add is ginger. That is really great for inflammation. And I actually have a frozen knob of the ginger, so I may add that into, into the mix. 
And with, um, with that, you don't really need to worry about peeling because the peel will kind of go to the side with the pulp. Um, the kind of juicer I have, um, I forget the name because I got it a very long time ago. It's a French name. Um, it is um, centrifugal, so it spins around um, <clears throat> and all of the pulp goes off to the side. Um, now again, if you compost, putting that pulp into your compost is fantastic. Great for your garden. Um, so, you know, for those who don't compost, if you have a backyard... Um, and you like gardening at all, I highly recommend. Now, when I do this, ooh, so this is probably, good thing we're juicing this today, because if you look at the brown, it's probably like the last, last good day for this uh, mango. And yes, I am going to cut that out. So I cut around, so I cut long strips. Now when you're serving it, you can do the cubes like a lot of people recommend. But we're not necessarily serving this except in a drink. Um, now bananas, you really cannot juice. Mangoes, I don't know so much. I don't, I've never tried to juice a mango. Um, I know that they are fantastic for smoothies. There we go. So at least that wasn't too deep. And just cut underneath and it'll re release. Some of these are already releasing naturally. But it'll release. Yeah, there's a couple brown spots, but this is still this is still good. And we're only going to do one piece cuz I want to see if it clogs up the works. Um we don't want to keep using it. So you do the same thing with the other side. Again, this is not super exciting. Hello. Oh, so you're my friend who's sticking with me. Hi, Mr. Tomskin. I, I've i never... Oh, Tomkins. I'm sorry. I put the S in the wrong place. Apparently, my reading this early in the morning is not fantastic. Oh. So you just slice along the pit. Again, we see it's a little... It's It's starting to turn a little bit. But I'm not particularly worried. It's not like if it were, you know, a lot more brown or if the brown were coming, you know, through more, then I would not use it. But can't turn down a good mango. And if I find that this clogs up the works, well, then I'll be eating mango all day. So when you go, you can kind of, you go gently because you don't want to cut through the skin. Even though the skin is tough... <laughs> you don't want to cut through to your hand. So you have to go slowly and gently. We're going to try to miss that brown stuff on the side. And again, if you do this right, it should all kind of naturally just release. When you do a detox or a fast, you want to make sure that you are resting that day. You don't want to do when you're doing anything mm -hmm. um, high impact. Oh, they do juice. Okay, good. Oh, wow. That is awesome. So Mr. Um, Tompkins said that they do work, uh, that they do juice well. Um, and that when he was in South Africa, that he could buy buckets full for pennies. That is incredible. I will tell you, this was incredibly expensive. Um, this was $3. That's why I only bought one mango. Um, it was $2.99 um, because it was organic. And, and I thought, you know, I really want mango. Um, so that's why I'm going to use this sparingly. Um, I'll probably use it for two. It'll, you know, it'll be used up today because I don't want it going bad or ruining the other fruits. Um... But yeah, this was really expensive. And so you have a couple more strips here on the side. But once you start hearing that um, like sound with your knife, you're cutting the pit. And you don't need the pit. And this side I'm not going to cut because it, it's mostly brown over here. 
I don't know if you can see that, but see the brown? So we're going to skip that other side. And all the cutting is done. We are now almost there. I won't make you watch me wash the dishes. All right, so now to put this machine together. Again, this has been a very long time in coming. Okay. First, you want to get a glass. And I'm going to need a couple. Here, we'll use a nice, pretty, clear mug. I think that the juice will look really pretty in that. Okay, so this part holds the holds the um, the like pith and all of the the fiber, the stuff that doesn't make it into the juice. Now, you're gonna have to bear with me because it's been a long time, like I said, since I've done this. So this goes right up against the back. I probably have to turn it around. There we go, okay. Hi, oh, hello. Nahum the Mayhem, welcome. That is awesome. <laughs> well, maybe if I forget how to put this together, you'll be able to help me. Or I'll tell you, taking it apart, I was like, oh my God, I forgot what to do. This part is the net and the blade. This is a pain in the tuchus. Thank you for the thumbs up. Yay. This is a pain in the tuchus to clean, but I did clean it last night because it just, it's been a while. So you have to put this on first. This is where your container goes under, but you need to be prepared to have a second and third one ready. So this should just snap in. Good. Still spins. You want to make sure it's in and moves because otherwise when you plug it in bad things will happen um all right what else i think we're almost all assembled so this helps push things through i feel like aha okay yes it is backwards haha <laughs> oh look look jd the shapes have to mix Okay, something is not right. Okay, you want it to fit perfectly, and I feel like I have done something wrong. Well, it seems to. Let's see, this hooks up here, and it should snap if I did it right. Nope. Well, this is why I said adventures, because clearly we're having some misadventures right now. Ha! Hey! We're all hooked up. Woohoo! Okay, now to make sure I have my backup containers, um, because um, even though I'm putting the extra in that other... Um, bottle or jar rather I want to make sure um, that when I'm ready that one gets full I have another one on its way sorry I'm trying to talk and move at the same time so I'm just gonna put the extra in there this is gonna make a lot of juice and hopefully I will have that for um, like mid-morning snack so again you want it airtight um, metal is best. Why? I don't know. Um, I think any solid, dark, opaque container would do as long as it's airtight. Um, and you want to try to fill it up to the top. All right. Whew. Wish me luck. We're going to plug this in. This has not been plugged in in years. And it is a good time. 11 11. All right. Here goes. Here goes the adventure. And. Oh, so exciting. Listen to that sound. Let's start with some mango and some strawberry. My dog came in. He wants to know what the heck is going on. Oh, that smells so good. Throw in some pear. 
Uh oh. The pair just flew around. Apples are a really great base. And if you go too fast, you're not going to get um, as much juice. So it's better if you take your time. Now that's going to yield a lot of juice, that piece. Here, we'll throw in the one that's turning brown. I don't think that did much at all. Get some more apple. And sometimes if you have ones that like to slip and you put two in at once, it helps it grind a little better. We're using more of this than I thought. The juice is looking beautiful. So we won't have too much extra, so I might not need that whole big container. And this is why some people like doing smoothies instead. All right, we're gonna keep going. I think that's it for this juice, but I'm going to switch containers. And we're gonna keep going until the thing is empty. So we'll do another apple. I think I should have saved the mango for last because I think it gunked up the work. Ah, there we are. We'll save the rest of the mango for last. time if they're small. So you can see a lot of people like doing the smoothies because you don't waste as much as the fiber. But there's different benefits to each. Doing juices um, allows your digestive system to rest while you still get all the nutrients. And some people will even take a bit of a laxative if they're only having juices. And friends, that, that's the juice. I'm gonna let it run a little bit. And then I'm gonna take off the top so you can see everything that was missed. Okay, so we're gonna un 
Oh, turn it off. So, I don't know that I would do mango again, even though they're good. I think it kind of clogged up the, uh, the inside. So you're going to get to see the inside of this. Oh yeah, this is heavy. And so, see all of that, and then all of that. That's what did not make it into the juice. And so now all of that has to get clean. Yeah, there is mango everywhere. Um, so I'm sad. That happened. Banana, never ever do banana. So anyway, I'm not going to make you watch the cleaning of this mess, but thank you all for joining me. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see the vegetable juice that I make this afternoon, put it in the comments below when we're done. Anyway, see you later. Have a wonderful day and love you all. Bye.